This card's busted. What is up YouTube? Keith here from Cutlass Board Games. And this morning I woke up exhausted, rubbing my tired eyes, look open at the Marvel Snap Shop and there is Kang. And I have collected tokens enough, ready to go. And today's a good day because we get to play some Kang. Now, I've built this deck, which I figured was going to be just as many annoying things as I could do with Kang. I wanted to play both Daredevil and Kang, so that turns 5 and 6, I get to see what my opponent does. Um, and it's kind of insane, actually. Uh, you've got like kind of, kind of your standard control stuff, like Iceman and Scorpion, and the Daredevil and Professor X or Hobgoblin kind of options, but also Gamora. Uh, and then Destroyer on the top end because we've got the Professor X and the Cosmo to mitigate its downside. And Leech is really popular in the meta right now. So Destroyer after Leech is like just great. And then we have all of our um, tech cards in Rogue, Shang-Chi, Enchantress, Cosmo as well, obviously. Uh, and then Scorpion on its own deals with stuff like Cerebro. So uh, you also have the option of swapping out Rogue for Armor. Um, I wasn't that scared of Destroy in general, and I, I like Professor X kind of also does the same thing, but if that's something you're worried about, play Armor instead, because unless if you're seeing um, Null in that Destroy deck, Rogue isn't very good. But so far, Kang has been absolutely cracked, and well, let's, let's take a look. I think it's a move deck. This rogue probably hits nothing. Do I, do I even play Vulture? I guess I got it for stats. So I'm assuming it's Doctor Strange in the middle. And then I Professor X to the left next turn if I can. And then Destroyer on the final turn probably wins the left. However, a Goblin might be just as devastating. Definitely win here. But we get to Kang first and find out. <laughs> so he's plays Cloak. He's got four other cards in hand, so he could change his mind if he wanted. But this goes to 16 because of the Sunspot. And if I tie, I lose the tiebreaker. Well-informed retreat. That's definitely a function of okay. That's pretty nasty. Because we only have one, the one, one drop without dice man. Like that's unfortunate, but we deal. Sunspot. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, I don't get priority, which is annoying. That's unfortunate. This is really good for Gamora, though. Can't change here to the left. Clear for takeoff. And I guess I have to win on Goblin. So I assume Gamora wins the right. Goblin in the middle. I wish he had a hit destroyer. Okay, so I don't get to see what's discarded to Dracula. Place Doctor Doom. I've got three cards in hand. That's interesting. One. Okay. Let's so now I draw Destroyer instead. Place Doctor Doom. This is eighteen. This becomes twenty-one. Now I just find out if he discards uh, something big with Dracula. It has to be enough to win on its own. And I'll have three cards to hit from. Does something different. Ooh, spicy. There you go. Kang put in work there. That's interesting. Drawing the destroyer was like exactly the card that I needed though. Okay, Plunder Castle is a thing, that's for sure. Oh, that's really good. I guess I play this out for tempo. Yeah, that's fine. It already doesn't do anything. I think I want to try and Professor X here, and if I can't, Goblin. Both things dodge destroyer. Okay, he got my destroyer, that's fine. So I feel like my opponent is gonna play here. Oh, he doesn't even, it's cos mode. That's interesting. So if he plays here, do I Professor X? I feel like I have to. That's a meme. Okay. I feel like I'm losing Mojo World. Which is not good. Okay, so... He reveals first, which means I can't. Professor X Mojo World, which is kind of annoying. But I can do this, and he has to play here. If he plays here, he wins. But you probably think I'm gonna play in a Mojo World, because if I put anything in Mojo World, I win. But I wanna play in a Plunder Castle. My other option is like Shang Chi on the right, Daredevil on the left. But Daredevil on the left doesn't win unless we play something in here. My friend's gonna snap me. 
We're just gonna hand them four cubes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, I win the two lanes I care about. <laughs> That's actually so funny because he plays to he plays to the right instead. He wins. That's so great. Yeah. So. Kang informed me that I was gonna get a road, which was really helpful, actually. ignore it. And I Professor X left next time? Maybe? I guess I got two choices based on where they play, right? Oh, it's Cerebro too? Interesting. Because if I Scorpion, that could also be pretty lethal. Mm. Oh, it is not Cerebro 2. That is a Jessica Jones. Uh, we're gonna win the left lane. And they have to play middle, uh, and we win on Gamora, but uh, let's take a peek. <laughs> take a peek at what they're doing first. I mean, it's free, right? There's no reason to not just throw out Kang and find out. So he plays Magneto. Gamora into Magneto's only 16. Barney reveals first. He'll have six. I would have seven if I Shang Chi. And I can score him. Huge. Oh, I like paused for a second and I was stressed out. There you go, free cubes. If I had a Gamora like I thought was the best play, I would have lost. Instead, Shang-Chi Scorpion battle. This card's busted. Okay, so that has been Kang the Conqueror. Another fantastic tech piece that's going to fit into um, pretty much any, any deck that's trying to control the final turn. Um, I imagine it's going to go directly into any Galactus list where they find out exactly what the thing is that you've got for your last turn and then they choose to Shang-Chi or then they choose to play their Null and win the game that way. Um, I really like it in the control shell because with Daredevil and Kang it's kind of like the ultimate cube control where you go, oh actually I've discovered they have this thing that beats me, I'm going to retreat instead. Um, and I think that Every deck could just be Kang 11 cards, which is kind of insane, actually. Is this really good for the future of Marvel Snap? Well, hopefully I'll, <laughs> I'll be able to find out. I make a lot of other videos on here. I will put up some buttons, some other Marvel Snap content. I do a lot of that, but I also have a lot of regular board game stuff that's worth checking out. Um, and if you would hit that like and subscribe button, those things are actually really, really helpful and help grow the channel, so I would appreciate you throwing that stuff down there. And let me know what kind of stuff you wanna you wanna see me brew up next. Is there a deck that you're really excited to play Kang into but just haven't got the collected tokens yet? Let me know so I can 
brew it, make something stupid, test it out and, and show it off. So thanks and I hope to see you in the next video.